what's going on my people down in coventry today linking up with the og man like steel house bullies he's on his way down there now when he pulls up we'll get the dogs out a couple of pups a couple of adult dogs and we'll get it cracking let's go let's go let's go come on sapphire beat Yes, yes, yes. I'm with the owners of Steel House Bullies. Give me a little introduction. Tell them about the, the bloodlines and the stuff we're working with right now. Steel House Bullies, me and my son, family home. We've got with us today, we've got Burner Boy, we've got Cartel, Scar, and we've got Envy. Envy and Scar are the new puppies there, like around about seven months old now. They're the daddy up and comers. We've got Burner, he's the king of the bullies. Everyone knows Burner. Yes, he's yes. a celebrity in his own right. And we've got, how, how, how much is Burner weighing right now? Right now, he's probably touching 78, 79 kilos. So we've how, had him what, down. Yeah, what have you had him up to? Had him up to 84.3 so yeah how, so how much is that how much is that comparison to hulk oh it's about five six kilos heavier than no, about four kilos heavier than hulk you but, but that stuff there? moving active you've you've let's, you know yourself you've get, worked let's him get, let's get let's get let's get it, it, let's get it, let's get it anyway. let's go come on no, johnny the original original with this thing got this is king burner yeah burner boy it's got the new superman harness on sponsored by bestia colors Yes, yes, yes. So we have him to get that plug in there. Put their link in, yeah, the collars and that, because John's been rocking these collars from the jump. Yeah, these guys have looked after us from day one, bro. Burner's a red lion blood. Red lion Mis blood. Mr. X and Nina. So um, okay. Nina's a King Kodiak daughter. Yes, yes. Mr. Yes. So X that's, is a, that's original, stuff original old school blood. But um, Cartel, this is Div Diva's son. Um, now he's well. is active. He's active, bro. Basically, his. Clyde and Diva. Yeah. Um, D Diva's obviously. Uh, Wait, is this, your, is this, is this is my own production? Is this your yeah. Production, yeah. This yeah? is one of our productions. So this one. This one. Bigger. Look at the. Look at the, the tuck as well and that. Yeah. It's not no fat sloppy thing. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Since the summer, we've had both of them on a 50% diet. Where he was having say like three kilos of meat before. Yeah. He's at, now he's down to 1500 grams. Okay. Yeah. He's yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. on 750. This one is. Yeah, yeah, 750 yeah. grams a day. So this is what I'm saying. Like, and saying as well, people be overfeeding their dogs. Oh. Doing some mad stuff, and so you see, you know, say just cut it, cut it down. Now, nah, look at the results. You know, oh, it's not a joke, man. You know what? I've got to give props there to the pit pound. We went over there, had a conversation with my man. He's an OG in the game. Obviously, yeah, you know, Ruger well, Blood. My man gave us some good advice on yeah. feeding the dogs once a day instead of twice. The overall health of the dogs are a lot better when they're eating like this. So, shout out to the pit pound for that. It's a win win. We've got the pit pound as well. Yeah, definitely. So, like I said, he's, 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 these dogs have now been under six months for half a feed diet, and they're still looking fantastic. They're looking, they're looking, look they're, at him. Look at they're the looking good. Look, take in the toes as well. It's not Come a joke. Like, everybody be like this, this, this. I oh, know, yeah. In the toes, yeah? Man's got super tight feet. When, when, you, when, you, when you're, when you're old in this thing, you'd you be looking at the toes, the tight, the tight toes and stuff. And again, look at the size of the dog, the weight of the dog. Yeah, the he's toes. active. You get me? Nice little warm up in the morning before yeah. we get them working out, stretch their muscles. Uh, to be honest with you, we've all, uh, now I've got like uh, 16 of them. So like overall, I've had a couple of ACL injuries. Burner himself's had two ACL stretches. Okay. Where he's had to have like six months out at a time. So I need yeah. to just nicely warm them up now before I take them out grafting. We warm them up like this, give them a little stretch out and then get them on the tuggers, yeah. get them on the, up the hill, whatever it is. But like I said, I've learned a couple of things over the years. The food, one of them, pound and then as far as the, 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 the bulls and that are concerned and the warming up with dogs, that's down yeah. to like, ne, no, you know, knowledge of your own stuff, you know, with yeah. your own mistakes you learn from. Yeah. So, so these two, these two, they're both two intact males. Yeah, fully intact males. Fully yeah. intact males, yeah. Fully and intact. look how they, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, they graft, they work. When, they, when they're turned on, even then I can have them around each other. I can have yeah. them both training on the same tree. Yeah. Because you know what it is, like, I don't know if you've seen my video with them feeding together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important. We live as a family, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. my dogs are with us, so we have to have them. They can't be, and I'm, I'm going to say this without any disrespect to anyone's yeah. kennels that are over the, a lot of people doing it for like, Full on a business or yeah. full on, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. putting my heart into this, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've yeah, got yeah. To have my kids around the dogs mm -hmm. and I've got to have my dogs going to families what, that have become friends and for in the long term, do yeah. you know what I mean? So I don't want to see any problems. So uh, the thing with the Steel House Bullies, this is what we're going on at the moment and, and, and this is a pro proper thing for us. Mm -hmm. S structure of steel, yeah. nerves of steel. Because a lot of these dogs that are getting put out there now. Yes, they're very nervy. They're very nervy. Yeah, and yeah, you know yeah. what a nervous dog can do, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, can, 
go back and forth, end up going on its Fear own. Fear biting, all yeah, of them all things of that there. Type of reactiveness. So I have them all eating together from day one. I have them around my kids and I have them under manners from day one. Mm -hmm. And that's a massive point. You have to be alpha, whether you're a male or a female, you have to be alpha in your pack. I've seen a lot of people having injuries and problems just hurt it, uh, over this type of stuff where they're letting their dogs play fight with each other or being immature and setting them on people on the road. And with these dogs, that, like I said, the capabilities of them, they're, they're like having a lion. So you need to be on top of them and you need to be mature about it. And these things are things that people, like breeders, us as a community need to address. Yeah. Like all these man's getting rid of their dogs. Like, why get them in the first place? Mm. Commitment goes on further than the, than the paycheck. The commitment goes on further than the breeding. Mm -hmm. It's a lifetime thing, like you said. Don't jump into this thinking that there's a big, massive paycheck on it. You have to put in, we've been here now for just under six years, mm -hmm. putting in grass every in, day. day out. Yep. No matter what I've made, no matter what I've earned, I have not been on one holiday. Not even to Skegness. I've got to put my dogs there, my dogs feeding. I can't just leave them in the kennel with someone looking after them. I want to know that I don't mm -hmm. think they're okay. So I have to make my family commitments, and these are my family. Like I said, bro, some of them people are saying, oh, the dog game's finished, the dog game's finished. Well, if the dog game's finished, the dog game's finished, but I'm having a great life with my dog. Yeah, that's it, that's it. I mean, to, if I have to go and get a full-time job to be able to support my dogs and my family, that's what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. happy that we've had mm -hmm. five years of cruising with the dogs, yeah. learning and putting back in. And bear mm -hmm. in mind, whatever I've earned, I've put a lot back, back in. Back in, yeah. Dogs, and I put a lot in at the start to get the dogs where they were in the first mm -hmm. place. We've had some big litters, definitely. Mm -hmm. We've also had some big losses. Big so losses. Year, I've lost two of my main dogs. And, and, and people don't talk about the losses, innit? Nah, that's that's the fact, the losses. Like, Rogue was an animal. He was just like Cartel, passed away on this exact field. He took, he took his last breaths over here, choked on the ball. I brought my dog out. It was raining, it was pissing down. We got the umbrellas out. We thought, nah, he needs to have an exercise. He needs to have fun. So we threw the ball for him. And the ball got stuck in his throat and he passed away. The losses that we've had financially are massive. Financially. Most importantly, mm -hmm. emotionally. Yeah, what yeah. So the most Emotional roller coaster. Yeah, I had to race off from here and go to my vets, which is a mile down the road, and watch my dog's eyes roll back into his head and then pass away and take his last breath. When I remember opening the sack and seeing him take his first breath, that was emotional. There's, there's certain things you don't see in the mm -hmm. in this game. With King Costa, exactly the same thing. I brought him into the world. He was from my first breeding King Costa was. He was a monster. 82 kilos we got him up to. Functional, solid, big, massive dog. We mm -hmm. took him to the shows and he shut down the show. We took him to the ABKC. People were paying more attention to Costa than they were to the ring. I'm going to be honest, not big headed. That's how it was. Mm -hmm. We rolled through there like we had two lions on the thing. Burner and Costa. And they shut down the show. Mm -hmm. But then when it comes to the size of him now, this, mm -hmm. is what, this is a key point. We went over and seen Ricky at the Pit Pound spoke about the diet i started dieting them it was probably a couple of weeks after that that the, the heat wave come where it was 37 and 38 degrees Costa was in the house with us with the air con he'd come outside to do a wee he'd been outside for three minutes he went out he went up to his kennel where it was really really hot it was like a hot spot he had a drink of his thing and he decided to relax where he normally would relax but on this day his body just couldn't handle the heat and unfortunately he passed away through the heat stroke and it was massive for us. the mental stress as well as the financial stress and then having to explain to people that they can't use my dog because he's died and yeah. making a news mm -hmm. on the internet it was really really yeah. And that's the thing, when you've got an Instagram and you've got a profile, you always feel like you, you, it's not just you now. Yeah. You're letting down your people. Yeah. You're letting down all these other people that, you know what I mean, love the dog. Sometimes you don't even want to get up and have to explain yourself, but yeah. you feel like you have to exactly. because everybody's been a part of the journey. I had people drive with their female from Poland. Yes to come and breathe past that. The guy come all the way over in his van, yeah. bred him at our clinic, yeah. then he went back to Poland, yeah. and the man ended up with 10 sick puppies. Yeah. And that was a, that, that, that there, one of the best moments in the game. For yeah, me. yeah, yeah. And, and it weren't about the finances, it was yeah. the, he could have kept the money. I didn't care. All I was bothered about is this guy come from Poland. Poland to come and check, man. Dogs. Yeah. Go past how many dogs? Yeah. How many kennels? Yeah. I was over the moon, still, I'll go to the grave cherishing that, 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 that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the God, like, that, was a, that was a big moment for me. That, that moment now, I'll never ever forget. Yeah, that's powerful, bro. That's powerful, though. That's, that's power, bro. What's his kennels? Um, Polish monster bully. Big them up as well. We'll put them in there, bro. All the new breeders in the game, you don't need to take take this in, innit? John's been out here from the jump. And I'm talking from the jump. John took me in. When I first come up north, I linked up with John. That's it, bro. You get what I'm saying? And from madness. then, we've been rocking. 2023, we're doing a UK tour, starting off in Warsaw, that's yeah. part one. Yeah. Then going to London, which is going to be massive. All yes, of our yes, dads yes, yes. There. All of the southerners, okay. everyone is we're bringing to us. Is it you hosting it? Um, Frank. Bully, and link, bully Link Ups UK are the yeah. ones hosting it. Yeah. Myself, Steel Ass Bullies, yeah. Frank Sinatra, yeah. and Barnes Bullies. Barnes we're the headliners. Bullies. Yeah. And what we're doing is basically, we're 
they're bringing so you man are like headlining yeah, almost yeah. see man, man, big dj in this t- oh shit. Headlining he is a big dj <laughs> in this <laughs> thing you know yeah so we're putting it together yeah. basically they've got a good following down there they've yeah and is that is that is that frank and yeah, and barnes yeah well big Palace. big them lot up as well big up frank big up, big up barnes as well them lot have got some big dogs as well really looking forward to collaborating with them yeah but we've all put our our cards on the table, so to speak, as our followers, yeah. our friends, yeah. our family that we're going to be able to bring together mm-hmm. and make to link up in London yeah. and showing London love. Because, like, not only yourself, bro, yeah. but every person from Companion Camp, yeah. South East Bullies, South, yes. DNA big Bullies, up Fred, big up all, e. everybody. I can yeah. keep going on and on and on here. Bully so, like, Lair as well. Bully Lair, big come up my, on. My boy Rory, come on, man. But M- million, every, so many, like A1, Hatch yeah. and Bullies. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah, go yeah, on yeah. and on. There's so many yes, amazing yes, yes. Big them lot up as so well. So we've got to get in. We gotta to get together. We're bringing down from Liverpool or from Scotland all the way through Liverpool, Manchester, yeah. all of that through the Midlands, yeah. Derby, Coventry, Leicester, Birmingham, all of these big places and big kennels. We're coming together and going down south. We're linking with our south friends, and yeah. we're gonna make this a madness so everybody can see this. The is, there, head, is there a date and that's set on it? Yeah, second of April, yeah, um, twelve midday until three p.m. There's gonna be food vans. There's gonna be Jesus photographers, videographers, Christ. YouTubers. The main man central is gonna be there. You know what I mean? We're gonna be there Come on. million percent so we, we, we would love to see all of you there it'll be a big it'll be a big day yes 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 what's going on now so we've got the Steelers bully pups out then yeah so talk to me about a little bit of these lot when they landed in the country this is um two times good bar yeah Branston. yeah uh, yeah um, msb hades Branston. it's about six and a half months now. six and a half months bro got a lot going for me as um this one here yeah, is a good bar granddaughter as well low so from Paxman bullies yeah 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 um, basically they're both just like the new up and coming versions like like i said this this boy here the bloodline behind him is mostly bossy kennels yeah um he's got a little bit of ellis bloodline in his background okay is that where the size is coming from it's coming from bro okay bloodline, both the size and the, the bone and all of that yeah and, and as you can see He's got no underbite. He's just he's perfect. He's, he's just he's, he's a real look at, the, perfect. look at the fashion though. Yeah, the fashion. Yeah, we've got the yeah. We've got the best year colours. Yeah. Actually, like I said, these are four best year sponsors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a best year best year colour set for both of them. The harnesses. Yes, um, go on. Rockets. So what? These all leather. All leather. All yeah. Leather euros colours. Really euros harnesses and. Um, like I said, look at them. They, they look, they look the fine. Yes, bro. John, just literally give them a couple tips on like how to like exercise and bring up their pups and stuff. Because I know a lot of people look up to your kennels, look up to the size of your dogs, and the fact that you you're you're out here every day, cause so. With our puppies, yeah, we train them as lightly as possible. As you can like it. We don't really, really put them through any flirt polling, pretty polling. Not even so much with these balls. Like these are too much for these. Cause like fast movement with a lot of weight on them can be a problem with them stopping yeah. so quickly and pop a shoulder. Okay. Yeah. Or, or, or running from and pop and like stretch your ligaments. Yeah. We we keep them light all the way until they're twelve months old. We kind of keep our puppies like really like on the floor, no jumping, no yeah. too much contact with each other. Yeah. Anything. Because. All it takes is them to get excited and a little slip, and that's them. That's them injured for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like a dysplasia. Yeah. Like environmental dysplasia, like with them jumping down the stairs and popping their shoulder out or their hip or something. Yeah. And then you know, like it can be an ongoing problem for the dog and for yourself as an Yeah, owner. yeah. Forever. So yeah, all I really do, take them on hill walks. I'm, I'm, I'm using my twenty stone body weight to let the dog pull me. The hill. I'm yeah. Just walking with it. Yeah. I'm using my body. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I get two of them and walk up a really steep hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we do. And, and another thing, sorry, a friend who works at a butcher's. Yeah. Uh, big up Darren Yerbury. Yes, my yes, Dan. The, the butcher. Yes. The butcher. So my man works at Beckett's Meat Packers over the road, yeah? Yeah. And he comes through every week. With about 50 kilos of uh, knuckle bones for I, I does mess, message me, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a box of say 40 bones coming through every week. Yeah. For the dogs, so they take their heads get bigger. Yeah, yeah. They get the nutrients. So is that a good thing for the heads? Is yeah, just yeah. chewing on the chewing bones. On the the bones. Bigger, yeah. Faster. Yeah. Got and Monroe's. Yeah. Got a lot bigger than some of the litter mates. Because, because of because, because of big does you know the butcher you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, full. Yes, yes, full. yes. Full of stinking bones for man. Nah, come on. Come on. Like I said, um, that's what it is. We just let them chew on them big knuckle bones. Mm-hmm. So, so it sounds very like resistant and letting them grow and relax. Because a lot of people they get their pup. And they're like, they want to do everything. Yeah. They're going to go here. They're going to go to this link up. They're going to go this. They're going to go that. Yeah, and before you know it, spring spring, and before you know it, boom, something's wrong. Yeah. 
and you know what I'm saying, and, it, and, it, and it's not cheap. Yeah. When something goes wrong injury-wise, like this with the dogs as well, vets, all of these things, it's not cheap, bro. Yeah, so Mr. D stretched his ACL for a second time, jumping up for his tugger. Then we had Burner back tied again over there. On the same thing, doing the port picture. Didn't really do nothing for me. Seen the bike pad come out, he's just jumped for it. Yeah. Stretched his ACL. Yeah, yeah. Put him for nearly 12 months. Again, these are like £2,000 bills each time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vets. And uh, luckily it weren't a snapped ACL because it would have been a lot longer. Because right? when you snap the ACL, you got to get both done. Yeah, you yeah, got to, yeah. That's what people don't know. When you're doing these hard works and stuff, if you snap an ACL, you got to get both done. I learned that from Raw Windsor Bullies now. Yeah. So he was telling man, so basically, when you do one ACL, you got to do the other because it's, it's like about... It about it matching up or something like that. Definitely. So if you do, if you do one, the other one's gonna. What's going on, big man? Cuz <laughs> if you do one, you gotta do the other one. So always take that down to notice as well. You might get a free grand vet bill, but you gotta come back in a couple of weeks and you're gonna get another free grand vet bill. People don't realize all this stuff, man. This is what people don't get. Yeah. Muscle damage is much much worse sometimes than a break. Than actual breaks. Yeah, 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 the yeah. Four, four muscle damages we've had have been much worse, horrendous compared to an actual break. And and, and that's that's basically what we're going on here is letting these get to a good a good age where their bones are stiff, mm -hmm. the bones are bonded and, and and they're ready to they're ready to be able to work. So a lot of people, like you said, are flirt polling them from day one. They're spring polling them. Like all we will do with these is resistance training. Yeah. A bit of swimming. We get them down the river yeah, and get the them swimming. swimming. Yeah. Another little tip is like getting the ball. Like he'll stand in the river down there. I'll stand in the river up here and throw the ball mm -hmm. to them. They're water resistance. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the water, so the water's not fully submerged them or anything. It's just up to the taking a bit of the pressure yeah. off the elbows. Yeah, yeah, and and they're, and they're running into it, so it's harder. It's no. not, you know, we're running Come on, yeah. Now. It's hard, it's yeah, hard. yeah, yeah, yeah. More resistance yeah, again. More resistance, but light resistance. It's not so much on their bones and that. One tip I'd give you that from, from us that we've learned from and we stick to now as a, as, as a definite guideline yeah. is, is, is keep them as light and as nimble as possible until yeah. they get to 12 months old. That's why King Costa and Berna yeah. are still so straight and, and, and why Costa was exactly what he was. Costa looked like he was half Great Dane or something. He's just tall. Tall, yeah. Big head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't really, you know, and, and then, then he filled was, the yeah, flip and out. Filled out and, and when he filled out, he filled out straight. Yeah. There weren't none of this walking like a yeah. seal. Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, straight no legs. Up, yeah. No back end like a camel. Everything was good, bro. Come yeah, on. Structurally straight, and that's what we—that's what we aim to do now from from here on and always is to keep them nice and light, fed properly, loved so they can be around anybody they need to be. We get them out every day and we want them around as many family members and yeah. friends as possible. But yeah. And we take them to like marketplaces every weekend from to socializing load large yeah, yeah. yeah. And people coming over, they don't know, how oh, can we stroke your dog? This is all good for these dogs. You know what I mean? This is all good for them. They want to be stroked. Mm -hmm. They want to be loved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get that extra love and that extra thing. They're not worried about anything. Do you know what I mean? It helps build the nerves into what they turn out to be. No, definitely, like, bro. The, no, the, the come kids, on, John. Just keeping them nice and light um, and, and resistance training, man, up until 12 months old. And, and then, then you can let them. On. Well, listen, yeah. you see I'm down there with the real Don Dapper, yeah, my brother sense. there, oh. my brother Big Liam there as well. Everybody, like, comment and subscribe because, you know, we're only bringing you the exclusive content. I'm only hitting up the real man them that's been here from the start, been here from the jump, and has always brought me through as well. So, Bully Link Up as well, yeah? Bully Link Up next year, Crystal Palace. Big up Frank, big up Barnes. Let's get it, man. Cuz, one love. Yeah.